Hey, what's going on guys? It's Keda here and I'm on to the terrace now and as you can see sun is very happy. So it is very good thing to do some experiment with solar panels. So I'm doing some experiment with this solar panel I have made. So this solar panel is consist of six uh, individual solar vapors so this each one panel can give me 0.6 volts and uh, 600 milliamps maximum so i connected these three panels in series so this whole string will give us 1.5 volts approximately roughly and same for this string and uh, i have connected all these panels in series uh, so as you can see that I'm getting 328 milliamps here and let me get into the voltage so I'm getting about 2.9 volts so that's all in series and uh, the interesting thing I want to show you that when I covered up the voltage remains same as you can see the voltage is approximately remaining the same but the effect on to the current that we are getting is drastically changing as you can see now here is the full current when it is not covered the panel is not covered now and uh, I will cover the panel partially as you can see the current will drop down to half actually as you can see if I cover the, cover the half string, then I will get almost nothing current. It's 10 milliamps now. And uh, if you know what is power, then power is the multiplication of voltage times current. It's as simple as it is. So when our panel is uh, covered up with some kind of object, uh, let's say it, it is like flying bird shadow or uh, if anything will cover the solar panel then our power will eventually drop down to almost nothing so that is very big problem uh, if you are connecting these solar panels in series and uh, you cannot connect these panels in parallel since uh, they each individual have 0 0.6 volts so as you can see these panels are very thin and quite fragile I have broken few many so as you can see the positive uh, terminal is on to the back and negative terminal is on to the front as you can see it is giving 0 0.5 volts and the short circuit current is uh, 560 milliamps so it leads to me questions that uh, why is this power loss is happening when we cover these panels so little bit searching on internet i found that these individual panels have some resistance so when light is not falling onto them and uh, they are in the dark this panel which is in the dark is acting as a resistance into this series string and all these other panels are generating the voltages and the current but this panel since it is in the dark it is losing all the power into it so it is really bad thing so what will be the solution and interestingly i have found very nice solution you have seen these super capacitors in my video which i will show how this charging and discharging works on this super capacitor okay friends so this super capacitor is 5.5 volts and 1 farad this super capacitor has a very interesting property of uh, low ESR and uh, it can be quite useful in this combination so what we have to do here you have to just connect this capacitor in parallel with this string and this capacitor is parallel with this string and connect these two strings in series so we get the same voltage and the current but when the shadow is happening over the 
one of the string this capacitor will take over the place of the resistance of this path and uh, since this has a pretty low ESR it should pass all of the power right through the capacitor and uh, through the to the load that we have connected so let's see this in practice I have connected this in series so now this capacitor is connected to this string and this one is connected to the this string and let me connect it up so you can watch the current right here initially it should pick up because the some charge is accumulated when uh, since I have connected this uh, to the solar panel so see that this started from 700 milliamps actually and uh, it will settle over the normal value which we are getting in the normal configuration so as you can see we are getting about 360 milliamps here it is settled over there now what will happen when I covered up this string as you can see the current is 200 and still not dropped to 150 as you can see still it is 170 160 as as if I cover full the panel as you can see when I covered the panel fully we are still getting 3 30 milliamps here previously we are getting just 10 milliamps and uh, if you let it charge for time as you can see it, it takes some time to get reach to the normal value as you can see 320 and it should settle it over 360 milliamps okay friends so will it work really so let's test it up let's say uh, bird is flying over it and it is not dropping the power instantaneously as if in the previous method uh, in which we have just connected this in series without the capacitors it will just drop the power instantaneously but now if we have a shadow over our panels then as you can see it is not dropping the current instantaneously to the zero so let me disconnect these uh, super capacitors so you can see the result here directly I disconnected the super capacitor and uh, let's see what uh, the effect on the power we get so as you can see when we covered the panel up we almost dropped down to 10 milliamps or so and uh, it is not very good uh, for the power as you can see we are almost getting less than uh, 80 milliamps okay friends so if we have connected this super capacitor in parallel with uh, the solar panel then we are getting much more current uh, and uh, since current and voltage multipl multiplies and get the power we are getting much more power okay friends so that's all about this experiment today guys so this super capacitor can enhance the power output capability of our solar panel so hope you like this video guys please give it a big thumbs up stay subscribed for more stuff like this and i'll see you in the next one peace goodbye